Hey drawing friends! Welcome back to Dross as Kids Draw. I'm Dross and today I'm going to teach you how to draw, color, and shade a cute cartoon skier. For this, you'll need some paper, something to draw with, and something to color with. But anything will work. I'll be using some computer paper to draw on, an ultra fine point sharpie to draw with, and some ohuhu markers to color with. Now, before we get to drawing, let's do a challenge. You have five seconds to press the thumbs up button and the subscribe button down below with your middle finger. Are you ready? Let's do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you do it? I hope you did. Now, let's get to drawing. If you don't have your drawing supplies ready yet, make sure you pause the video and go get them. Also, make sure you have something underneath your drawing so that you don't get anything on your table. Now, I also have my drawing taped to my table so that it doesn't move around while I'm showing you what to do, but you definitely don't have to do that. Now, first, I'm gonna take the lid off my Sharpie so that I'm ready to draw. So I'm gonna start by drawing our skier's hair. So I'm going to start by doing a backwards S shape up here, like that. And now I'm gonna do a curved line coming in. And then I'm just gonna connect that with another curved line. So this is gonna be a little pigtail. Now, right above it here, I'm gonna do another curved line and another over here. And I'm just gonna curve down more then do a curved line over to connect. So this is gonna be your helmet. And I imagine there's a little hole here for her pigtail to stick out. So I'm gonna draw some stripes on here. So I'm gonna draw a curved line and another. And I'm gonna keep doing that across, like that. And over here, I'm gonna draw her other pigtail so I'm gonna draw, draw a little S shape, and then I'm gonna connect in with the curve, just like that. And now, to draw her face. I'm gonna draw a little curved line down, and another one here. Now don't connect these, because I'm gonna give her a scarf that's gonna come up over her face and hide her mouth. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a curved line connecting those. Then I'm gonna draw a straight line down and another down. And then I'm gonna connect those. There you go. Now I'm gonna draw the rest of her scarf. So I'm going to do a curved line coming out like that. Now the reason why I'm doing it like that and not hanging down is because she's gonna be going down a hill while she's skiing. So the wind's gonna blow up her scarf. So, and then I'm gonna go down here and do the exact same curve up. And then I'm gonna draw a line to connect that. Then I'm gonna add some fringe at the end by doing little lines like that. Now I'm gonna draw part of the other tail of her scarf. So I'm gonna do the same curve back here I'm gonna end it shorter and do the same lines at the end for the fringe. Now to finish off her scarf, I'm gonna do some lines for stripes. So I think I'm gonna do five stripes there and I'm just sort of spacing them out evenly. It doesn't really matter how thick or thin your stripes are. Or you can do polka dots. It doesn't really matter. Now to add some details to her face. So I'm gonna give her some skiing goggles. So I'm gonna draw a straight line across her face like that. And then I'm gonna draw a U shape going up. And then I'm gonna curve it back down to do another U shape. And then inside that, I'm gonna do the same shape smaller, leaving a little bit of room 
around the whole thing. Just like that. And now, so that they're not just floating on her face, I'm going to do two little lines on each side to connect it in. And to finish off her face, I'm going to give her a little U for her nose. Okay, now moving on to the rest of her. So I'm going to draw a little curved line coming down. And the whole thing's slightly tilted this way so that she's going down the hill. And I'm just going to do that nice curved line like that. And now I'm not going to do the other side yet because I'm going to draw her arm. Because there's going to be some overlapping and the arm's going to be in front. So I'm going to go right here. And I'm going to draw a line back. I'm going to curve. Then I'm going to do a line back in. Now I'm going to go a little ways away from that and do the exact same thing. Now I'm going to connect that with the straight line and do another straight line out in two little lines. Because that's going to be your hand in a glove. So now I'm going to draw her scheme pole. So I'm going to draw a line going up and another one right beside it, connecting them with a little curve on top. Now I'm going to put them down. So I'm going to pretend that it's going through and come to the other side, draw a straight line down. Now I'm going to do the same thing here, pretend it's going through and draw the same straight line down and a little tiny oval and a little V at the bottom and that's her skiing pole. So now I'm going to go on this side and I'm going to finish off her torso and I'm going to draw a line for her back and I'm going to connect that with a curve. So I'm going to add some details to her coat now. I'm going to do a line going up for where the coat attaches, like both sides. And I'm going to draw some circles and color those in for the buttons. There we go. Now I'm going to go in to her legs. So I'm going to start back here, but not quite at the edge of her coat. I'm going to draw a diagonal line to my left. And I'm going to go oh, pretend it's going past just a little bit. Then I'm going to curve it back down. She's going to have a bent leg for, because she's skiing. So now I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. And then I'm going to connect it with a curve. Now over here, I'm going to draw another line following that same exact curve. But it's not going to go as far. I'm just going to curve that in. Because that's her other leg. So you're not going to be able to see the whole thing because it's behind this leg. Now for her boots, I'm going to draw a little line down and another one here. And then curve it out and back in. And do that over here. Go down, curve, and back in. Now I'm going to do her skis. Now I'm not going to have room to do the whole thing down here. So I'm just going to pretend that it keeps going. But if you have room, then you can totally draw the whole skis. It'll be the same as the back. So I'm going to start up here. And at the edge of her boot, I'm going to draw a straight line, pretend it keeps going. Then over here, I'm going to start at the edge, draw a straight line, and keep going back. Now I'm going to pretend this one keeps going, and take it up, and curve it. Now if you have room to do the front, then you would do that same connect at the front, but down here more. So I'm going to do that on the other one too. I'm going to draw straight line and now I'm sort of going to share this one here and go up 
10 that keeps going. A little line there. And curve back down. Now for my final touch, I'm just going to draw a little line over here. Like that. So that looks like she's skiing down the hill. So that is how you draw a cute cartoon skier. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to be coloring it with my Ohuhu markers. Now you don't have to color yours and you can leave it just like this and that would be perfect. And you also don't have to color it the same way I color it. Now here's how I'm going to be coloring it. So for the coloring, I'm going to start by not coloring her actually, but more of her outfit. So I'm going to use 17 or pastel pink. So I'm going to use this to color in every other stripe on her helmet, the edge of her goggles, every other stripe on her scarf, and her pants. So I'm going to fa be fast forwarding this, but you can always pause the video, color it in at your own pace, and then press play once you're ready. So I'm going to go and fast forward. And there we go. Now this color does look a little different on camera than it does in real life, but that's okay. So now I'm going to continue coloring in her outfit with 67 or pastel blue. So I'm going to be coloring in the rest of the stripes on her helmet and her scarf. And I'm going to be coloring in her coat and this little part here and the lenses of her goggles. Now once again, I'll be fast forwarding this, but you can always pause the video and do the coloring at your own pace. Perfect. Now I'm going to go in with 77 or pale blue violet. I'm going to color in her glove and her skis. So once again, I'll be fast forwarding this, so you, but you can always pause the video and do it at your own pace. Great. Now I won't be fast forwarding the rest of the coloring because it's just a little bit. So I'm going to be going in with 94 or brick brown for her hair. So I'm just going to go over here and give it a quick color in. Now I'm going to be going in with 25 or salmon pink for her face. So I'm just going to color up here and around just like that. And I'm also going to go in with GG3 or Green Gray 3 and color in her ski pole. And finally for the coloring, I'm going to be going in with 120 or black for her boots. I really like this black because it's very deep and rich and not super like gray -y, like I find a lot of blacks are. And that is how you draw and color a cute cartoon skier. Now you can end here and it would look amazing, but I'm actually going to go ahead and do some shading that you can follow along with too. Now, first off, I'm going to go ahead and shade in some of the pink parts of her outfit. So I'm going to be going in with eight or rose pink. And actually first, I'm going to do a little bit of shading on her face and make it look like she's blushing where it's cold and her face is turning a little pinky. So now I'm gonna go into the shading. So I'm gonna go right around here, around her pigtail, cause it's casting a shadow on there. 
and I'm also going to go along this side so that it looks like it keeps going around her neck and also here. And then I'm also going to do a little shading here so that it looks like this tail of the scarf is behind this one. And now I'm going to shade in her pants. So I'm going to go right underneath her coat ear because the coat is over the pants. Then I'm going to go alongside the outline of this leg because this leg is behind this leg. Around the boots because the boots are on top of the pants. And finally, along the ski pole. Now I'm going to go ahead and ski. Now I'm going to go ahead and shade in the blue parts using 66 or baby blue. So I'm going to go ahead and shade around this pigtail too. And I'm also going to go here because this is behind this part of the scarf. And I'm going to shade in the blue areas of this tail of the scarf because it is behind this one. And now I'm going to shade in the coat. So I'm going to shade around the arm because the arm is on top of the rest of it. And then I'm going to shade around the ski pole and the glove because they are on top of the rest of the coat. And finally, I'm just going to go around the scarf because it is also over the coat. So for the final shading step, I'm going to be going in with 75 or dark violet light. And I'm going to shade in her glove here. I'm just going to do a line beside the coat. I'm going to go around the boots on her skis and around the skiing pole too. And there you go. If you want to show me your drawing, ask your parent or teacher to email me a picture to jossleskidsdraw at yahoo.com. Also, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. And also share this video with your friends and family so that they can draw this amazing skier too. And if yours doesn't look like mine, that's fine. Being unique is great. And as long as you had fun, that's what matters most. And finally, remember, practicing will pay off. So make sure you check out my last video, how to draw a party popper emoji. And stay tuned because there will be n more videos coming very soon. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. So keep on drawing till then. Bye.